LASIK surgery is a procedure where we can decrease the dependence upon glasses and contact lenses by reshaping the cornea with a laser. We make a thin flap on the cornea using a special laser called a femtosecond laser, and then we use another laser called an excimer laser to change the shape of the cornea and then put the flap back down. Well, the most important thing that makes a patient a good candidate for LASIK surgery is being tired of wearing glasses or contact lenses. But beyond that, we certainly will screen for certain things in a patient that might make them a poor candidate. Things such as dry eyes, or having a cornea that's too thin, or having uh, an irregular astigmatism. These are types of things that might make a patient not an ideal candidate for LASIK, although they might be a candidate for another procedure such as PRK. There's not an age limit in terms of um, the higher limit of who can have LASIK. However, on the lower end, we generally want a patient that's over 18 and at the bare minimum, somebody who's had a stable refraction or stable prescription over a certain length of time. It's very important in choosing where you're going to have your laser vision correction because, of course, your vision is very important. One of the things we do at Baskin Palmer when we screen patients is we check not only the prescription that you're wearing, but also check whether or not that prescription matches what you actually should be wearing. In addition to that, we do a number of different exams during that screening process whereby we image the cornea and we get an idea of the shape of your cornea and the thickness of your cornea to see if you're a good candidate. One of the best things about LASIK surgery is the speed of the visual recovery. Usually about four to six hours after the surgery, patients experience discomfort and blurred vision, but after that time, they notice some quick recovery of their visual acuity. By the next morning, they're usually able to drive themselves back in for their follow-up visit. 